Hey guys, and welcome back to the next challenge rush. It is now time to take on the one we all feared to take on, Namek freaking Goku. He is here, and unfortunately, we have to challenge him in these challenge rushes. Now, this is the team I'm going to use. I'm deciding to use the Namek Piccolo because he is a super warrior and he is a boost unit. He is the only Super Warrior boost unit. You can bring your green Yamcha if you want to, but I don't know how well he's going to do. I'm going to put that right out there. Um, I'm bringing Piccolo because Piccolo is a very good support. He gives extra damage to your team, and he can act as cannon fodder for a rusher of Lucard. So, yeah. Right, guys. So, there he is. The damn Namek Goku himself. Um, yeah, I'm going to be straight up with you. This was not a fun freaking challenge. This was legit. Look at that. That is yellow Piccolo's damage. Are you? Really? I know I'm top. Like, I mean, I'm not even top. I don't even know. But like, really? So, yeah. If you use this team, bear in mind that uh, yellow other Piccolo, the actual sparking Piccolo, is not going to do any damage. I'm using the Fat Boo because firstly, everyone, okay, 99% of people should have him at 7 star depending on how early you are or how new you are to this game. Um... He also is going to be Zenkai Awoken soon. Uh, so if that is if that does happen to be the case, bear in mind he is going to be much, 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 much better. Come the time of when he's released, you can if you can't happen to finish this, just bring him in um, after. Bring him in when he is Zenkai Awoken, and you'll be able to clear it even easier than this. So, this actually was very, very tough, uh, using this team, of course, if I had better units, I mean, I do have better units, I've got Golden Freezer, I've got Buhan, I've got, heck, I've got a lot of units I could have used it for this event, but, all in all, this was the more free-to-play friendly approach, and as hard, or as challenging as this was to use, I managed. Um, it wasn't necessarily the damage that I was suffering from, it was more the lack of damage on my side, as well as having to constantly dodge the blue cards, because if you get hit by a blue card, it's a bit rough. So, yeah, you have to constantly switch out. You've got to time your switches well, you've got to do as best you can, you've got to get at least three to four seconds between switches, so you don't get caught exactly like that. Look at that, one blue card took away all that life from my piccolo. So, that is something you have to be super, super careful of um, in this event. But, I will say that this Namek Piccolo... I mean, yeah, Namek Piccolo, he is phenomenal. Absolutely freaking phenomenal. So, if you guys are needing the Super Warrior, use him. He is going to bring you very, very good things. He's a he's a very very strong unit. He is defense. He is a defense type, so he is going to have strong defense against the Goku in general. So yeah, that's that's all I really have to say about him. He's just he is a phenomenal choice for this event. He's actually the best one you could ask for. Just look at the um, the rest of the boost units if you want to. There's a lot of good options to use there. I'm going for this approach because it's fully free to play. Everyone has got these units. Because of um, the Sparking Piccolo, you could farm him for free as a Legend Road unit. So there's really no excuse unless you legitimately were unable to access the game for the entirety of the two weeks that the Piccolo was here. So, yeah, that, that, that's it really. Um, <clears throat> your second best damage dealer is going to be this the Fat Boo. Bear in mind they are all soul boosted to the max except Sparking Piccolo. Who is unfortunately unable to be because his event has not rolled around for us to get the extra souls needed. Uh, just by, by the way, I got very lucky with this uh, challenge because I did not get hit with the Rising Rush. If I got hit with the Rising Rush, this would have been a totally different game. With that being said, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Um, if the Yellow Piccolo, this this uh, Legends Road Piccolo, was the one that got hit, that would be perfectly fine. Yeah, stupidly, I don't know why I actually decided to do this. I decided to save, but on the cover cut, just look how much damage it did. It used one strike card, and it did no damage to me. What? That's nuts! That is why I say this guy is the perfect candidate for this team. Now, here, I was, even though I'm not on cover cut, he's still doing 
zero damage to me. The reason I'm saying I'm stupid is because I should have let that sparking piccolo go down because 60 counts is how long his ability is active for. So I am losing out on such valuable time that I actually really just screwed up on. And I decide here, bring in Fat Boo and just go on a little bit of a counter. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get out of it, which is fine. Um, I actually only clocked that it was 30 sec 37 seconds now. So just when you're in this event, pay close attention to the time because the good thing to do is sack this Piccolo off as soon as you, well, as soon as it reaches about 80 counts, if you're that far into the match, is what I mean. There you can see I just let him take it because I was like, I need the extra damage. I have four health bars left to get the Goku down. I need that extra damage on my side because without it, I fear I'm not going to be able to finish this event. And just look, I'm struggling. I'm so freaking hardcore struggling to get that last Dragon Ball. It's actually quite sad. Thankfully, we get that done. Um, the, the lack of key is also really screwing me over. So, thankfully there, he went for an attack. And that's all I can say. Is thankfully, he went for an attack. And I could use that key. Uh, I mean, a little tap loss. So, I could use my strike card. There, I don't really know what this key, this Piccolo's strong point is. It seems to definitely be blast. Hence why I chose the strike card. So, I could get as much blast damage as possible. And, Yeah literally just shy of being able to defeat it i have seven counts left six counts left and i decide swap into the booth why no idea but i go for this because i have no other choice thankfully it goes for that if it went for anything else or other than a strike card i would have been screwed two counts left and we managed to beat it with this team i could not be any happier you cannot imagine the relief that i had upon finishing this event and I noticed that there were two counts left or getting that last attack off and noticing two counts I was just like oh my god it could not have been closer so guys that is gonna do it for this video I hope you did enjoy it the freezer force characters are easy just use Ginyu I mean freezer force like uh golden for freezer and captain Ginyu you'll be perfectly fine so guys that's gonna do it for this video I hope you enjoyed it please leave a like please subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one